Could you explain? Yeah, well, if you want any pencils, Sean, you know, it's... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a, it's a hurdy-gurdy. Uh, of course it is. Yeah, and it, it works by cranking this wheel, which goes round and round. The strings go across the wheel, and that's where you get the tune from. It's got drones, that's why it sounds like a bagpipe. So, yeah, so a hurdy-gurdy. Cool. And, and where, where did this one come from? And how old is it? This one came from Preston. It was made by a retired fireman in Preston. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's 13 years old. Uh, but the, the, the actual instrument uh, dates back to around the 10th century. Yeah, yeah. And at one time, it was a church, it's a church instrument, played in churches. And it was known and played by two people. It was called a symphonium, a sym symphonium I think. And, and so, but it's been developed mainly by the French uh, into yeah. a lovely dance instrument. So it's made of dancing too. And how long have you played it? Uh, about ten years now. All right. Yeah. You're all right, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 What is the next tune? Yeah. 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 Uh, this next tune is going to be a, a rant. It's from Jeffrey Shaw's the the the, uh, the Canterbury Tales, and it's a portrait of the Miller. So it's just a description of the Miller, and we're going to follow that into a Flemish tune called the Bear Dance. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Can you do it enough to set the clothes on for that? You want a mic? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's the bloody just, mic now? Yeah. Just a little bit of background to uh, the music. It, a lot of it's it English. he plays yeah. is like yeah. Old English, and it, it, there's lots of witchcraft to do with it and wickers, which <laughs> reminds me of a, a story. My me, me wife used to live at a, a village called Hatton, which is just outside Warrington, up near Darsbury. And just down the road, about a mile and a half, was Newton Cross. And at Newton Crossroads was two witches' stones. And the, the story goes that if you move these stones, something terrible is going to happen, uh, usually to the farmer who owns the land or the person who moves them. So like the, the farm, they could have a lame cattle, they could get sheep getting Bluetooth, and the cow's getting lots out. <laughs> and, uh, and so on and so forth. But anyhow, uh, my wife and my brother had been playing around there. They'd been down there on the bikes and they moved these stones. And they, they came, when they came back in, they told the mum and dad they'd moved these witches' stones. And of course they got fried and said, you've got to go back and put them back. If you don't, and, and the Sunday dinner was waiting there. They wouldn't let them have the dinner. And they, they went and put these uh, stones back in place. Um, and a few years later, they built the M56 across it. So as, as they built the M56, whoever built it, Wimpy or someone, and uh, they moved these stones, they don't exist, they're not there anymore. And today, on that very spot where the M56 crosses the witch's stones, Nothing on two worlds has ever happened. <laughs> 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 like Lily said. <coughs> the Miller was a stout cow for the nuns, full big he was of brawn and eke of bones, that proved well for all there he came a rustling well he would away the ram. He was short shoulder, prude and thick and narrow, and there was no door that he he nor had, or break to tell running with his head. His beard as any sow or fox was red, and there too brood as though it were a sped, upon the copyright of his nose he had, a word full of the tuft of hellers, green as the bristles of a sow's else. His nose those black were and wide, a sword and a buckler by he by his side. His mouth was as great as was great for a knave. He was a jangler and a gallier day. And what was most of sin and harlotries? Well, could he tell him call and stall and threes? And yet he had a blue and gold party. A wit coot in a blue and world he. A baggy pipe? Well, could he blow in his sound? And there with all he brought us out of town. <laughs> 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 